What's up? What's good? Matt Clark here at the new Matt Clark. How are each and every one of you doing on this amazing Tuesday? I'm doing great. My family is doing great. Hope each and every one of you are doing great. And I hope you had a great weekend. I hope you had a great beginning to the week. Uh, I know it's been a minute. I'm, You know me, I've kind of been all over the place. You know, my life's just kind of been back and forth, back and forth. But I'm back working again now. I'm exhausted because I got to get up at 4.30 in the goddamn morning. That's right. 4.30 in the morning. And uh, it's it's been kind of crazy. So I've been kind of all over the place. And it's been hard for me to make time. But I love y'all. I haven't forgot y'all. And uh, this is going to continue. You guys already know. If you could please hit that like button, subscribe button, and that bell notification button so you get all my videos and my lives when they're new. If you could share with somebody on social media, help spread the message, help spread the word, that'd be amazing. And there's a PayPal option if you'd like to donate, help support the channel. The link is in the description of most of my videos. So what's up? What are you guys doing? <clears throat> Let's wait for some people to forward. <laughs> Yo, maybe I should take this sweater off. It's kind of hot. Yeah, hold up. <clears throat> it's kind of hot. Though. Ow! I just hit my funny bone, too. The rise of Wreckful. What's up, dog? Chilling. Finish work. Just hanging out, dog. Thanks to Real Hex, man. I appreciate that. I feel like I'm blessed. And the way that I got the job was kind of a blessed way, too. It kind of just fell in my lap. So it's it's been kind of a good circumstance. But I'm still a little concerned about hours. I like to work a lot. I, you know, I personally want to work between, like, I don't know, 45 and 50 hours a week at least. So right now I'm only pushing like between 35 and 40, but apparently it's going to get crazier. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see for sure. <clears throat> Are you serious? So you're going to hear my uh, cat is litter box because he just happened to pick this time. Urban Burner, what's good, brother? Prison Audio, what's good? Uh, it's on slow mode, so you won't be able to text or, uh, sorry, message for 10 seconds. I don't know why. It just kind of got me trapped in that circumstance. There's nothing I could do about it. So I didn't even bother trying to figure it out. Sorry about that. Bow breed buds. Appreciate that, bud. Mr. Tongue Twister name. I'm driving. That's what I'm doing, you know. That's what I want to do. That's, uh, it's good for me, you know. I'm not a super duper 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 people person. You know what I mean? Like... I have a hard time with strangers and random people, so it's better for me a lot of the time just to be out uh, on my own. Are you kidding me? Hold on. Stop it. Come on, man. You've been digging at this thing for like 15 minutes. Jesus. Whew. Sorry about that. Sometimes he gets he gets obsessive compulsive and he just and he just keeps digging and digging and digging and digging and digging and it drives me nuts. Oh sorry. Sorry, I didn't know you're a female. My bad. Shout out to the weed tubers. I'm a weed lover. <laughs> So uh, I don't. I'm not driving a big truck, but it's big enough, and 
it has a big ass trailer. So, and a lot of city driving. So it's kind of nuts, to be honest. But I'm getting used to it. I'm getting used to it. But as in bud gal, I get it. Thanks, Alabama Whirly. I appreciate that. Just a guess. So what do you guys want to talk about, man? What's the topic of conversation? You know what we speak on on this channel? Prison, addiction, we speak on life. So what do you want to talk about? He is a, not only a black cat, but he's a black tabby and he's a pain in the ass. But I love him. But he, like, sometimes he, he's, I swear, he's intentionally a pain in the ass. And he's just challenging me, you know? But he's a good guy, you know? I appreciate him at the end of the day. <clears throat> yeah, he's a big black cat. He's not a little guy. Man, I don't like this chair. It makes me look like a goddamn caveman sitting here in this chair. <clears throat> He's probably like 17 pounds right now. So I'd say he's a pretty big black cat. My boy just got deal. Damn, son. I'm sorry to hear that, bro. You know, I don't know what he did. Um, but I've seen guys in this country get deals for bullshit reasons, to be honest. Yeah, I have heard of Adam Strong, for sure. I think if he ever does reach population, it'll be bad for him. Bro, did you hear about them suspended cops getting pay? One cop has been getting paid for nine years after pleading guilty to corruption charges. That is nuts. <laughs> nine years just collecting a paycheck. That's it's actually like a better circumstance than doing the job, you know? You're just at home collecting a paycheck without actually having to risk your life. Just a guess. A DO is a dangerous offender. So basically in Canada, after you've had multiple violent convictions, they can put in a application to classify you as a dangerous offender. If you get classified as a dangerous offender, it is as bad, actually worse, then a life 25 sentence and people rarely ever get out after they get a DO. And there's a lot of people that are have DOs that didn't even kill anybody. So and it's not the right kind of people that aren't killing people. You know what I'm saying? But that's just my opinion. Jesus, can you stop, please? Stop. <sighs> He's testing my patience right now, people. <laughs> He's seriously testing my pa patience. And he stinks. I'm not skinny, bro. I'm 215 pounds. It's just the angle. I'm telling you, I'm not skinny. <laughs> but thanks, Mel M, for the assumption. He's a, he's a pain in my ass, but he's a good boy. Honestly, people used to make that same assumption when I started my channel. Still here. Man, I was a deal only because I was on two nails already. I don't understand Rise of Wreckful. Seriously, he's he's a stressful guy, but he's a good boy. Just a guess. Thank you for the 99 cents, man. I appreciate it. It all helps. Thank you very much. What's the what's the 
The cry eye. <laughs> All right, so what do you guys want to talk about, man? What's What else is going on in the world that you guys want to talk about? Do you guys hear about that, this Kenneth Law dude? Have you heard about him? He's the guy that got booked and he's facing like 15 murder charges in Canada and possibly up to like 80 murder charges outside of Canada because he was assisting like young kids who were dealing with suicidal tendencies kill themselves. And it's a crazy story. I might end up doing a video on it one day. I, I drive. I drive a truck. I deliver stuff. If I fell in love with an addict person, what is the best way to help them? I would say just be supportive. You know, don't enable, be supportive. Man, you came up while I was at rehab. Sweet. Hopefully for positive reasons. Laugh of the day. A chickie here in Sarnia got bail last week on her way out of the courthouse. She scooped a lawyer's laptop in his keys were on top. She stole his car and smashed it into a tree in 20 minutes. Nice. Guillermo Pereira. Thank you very much for the two-piece, man. I appreciate that. Thank you. Butler, man, what's up? Didn't he send them stuff in mail to off themselves? That's what he did. He said, I forget what the chemical is called, but it's a food grade chemical. If you take it in high doses, it kills you. And because he was a head chef somewhere, he had access to this chemical. It's a crazy story, man. The first super on the live stream. Celebrate that. <laughs> Thank you. The ghetto Dr. Kevorkian. <laughs> Not even ghetto. He's literally like the predatory, the worst, hundred times worse version of Dr. Kevorkian. Dr. Kevorkian was assisting people who are actually in pain and wanted to die. This person is assisting children who just needed help, but instead he's pushing them to do it. There's a special place in hell for people like that. Nothing but good things. A lot of the staff there think you're a solid guy and want you out there to speak on some things. Well, it'd be nice. People can contact me. Hey, bro, how many hours... Would you say it takes from leaving sentencing to go to the bucket? Like how many hours is the process? I don't know. It's probably going to take you the whole damn day, to be honest. Like if you're lucky, you'll get up onto the block at like 6, maybe 6.30. That's if you're lucky, lucky. But most likely because you're new. You're going to probably not get back until the late bus. And then you're going to have to go through the whole intake process, which means you're going to have to see a nurse and everything. It could be like 8, 9, 10 o'clock before you get up to the block. Hey, bro, how many hours would you say it takes from leaving sentencing to going to the bucket? Like, same, fucking same question. All day in the bullpen. Definitely not in time for a hot meal. How should they go about getting a hold of you? I don't know. Email. Uh, uh, Instagram. That's the best way. It's not hard to find me, you know. I have an Instagram. Message me on there. I'm not always on there. I don't love it. I'm not a super Instagram fan. But if, if you want to message me there, message me there. I'd love to go speak. I would love to go to schools and speak, but I've never had the opportunity. And I don't really know about how to go about that. Like, I know it's hard to find people to interview. You know what I mean? Like, 
when I first started the channel, people really wanted to be interviewed. So it was easy, right? Like people were knocking on the door all the time, basically, right? But now it's a little different. So I've told I've told people that I've mentioned it in the comments that they want to do interviews to reach out to me on IG. And I'm still waiting. So I don't know. Do inmates eat the food every day? Not every inmate eats the food every day, you know? Depends on what's made. And the food has changed a lot over the last 10 years. Like there was a point where some of the food was actually decent. Like if you were in the East... If you were in the Don, uh, in a lot of the pens, the food was decent. Like in the Ville, uh, it was still good food. Like you got chicken on the bone and real roast beef. And they even like salmon steaks and things like that. But over the last 10 years, everything has become bag form. And it's fucking nasty. Is it wise to wear extra t-shirts and boxers underneath? Yeah, if you're going to court for sure. What's good, bro? Hope you're okay. Been out since 2021, but unfortunately looking at a three-year pen bit. Hopefully my lawyer can get it lower to a provincial bit. Don't want to get a pen record. Well, that's what I said, man. Everybody says I'm crazy when I recommend people. Nah, you don't want the pen record. I understand that it's easier time, the time's better, but in the long run, it's better for you to do the provincial. Just is. Fish night, some dudes pass up, but that was my favorite. It depends on the fish night, you know? Like, in some places, they'd give you bassa fish fillets, which are still gross. But, you know, they're like a fried fish fillet. Thank you, James, man. I appreciate that, brother. Phil Waters. Hi, Matt. How, how you been? Did you kick the smoking? I've kicked the smoking, but I'm still smoking the vape. Uh, I haven't had a cigarette in a year almost, it seems like. Can we talk about the prison politics? My boy lost my boy lost his parole because if he didn't take the fall, a lifer is going to make his life hell and attacked him. That sucks. Prison politics are a real thing, you know? Like, uh, that's why I say to people, the best thing to do when you go in is to just mind your B's, P's and Q's and be yourself. Don't try to be a gangster or get in with the gangs or try to get in with people that, you know, maybe aren't like you because it could put you into a circumstance you don't want to be in. Politics can get you sucked into something that you don't want to be involved in. That's why, like, in the pen, you're playing chess, you know, and you just got to be smart. So I, I would say... You don't have to get involved in politics. You can avoid that. I don't use Instagram at all, but you will hear from me. They seem really, really about it. And I've been following you since my release, and I agree with them wholeheartedly. I appreciate that, bud. What do you say about the guys in jail that think they're being oppressed? I think it's based on how the system treats them. But if you put them things in perspective, the jails in Ontario are. Yeah, I feel like... In Canada, you're doing better time than in a lot of places. But at the end of the day, you're still in prison. You're still in jail. You're still going to complain. You know, if something's taken away, if you feel slighted, it's just kind of the way it is. You know, it's kind of like a us versus them mentality. So you're going to, it just kind of is what it is. And, and they do fuck around sometimes, you know, and they do try to strip right sometimes. So sometimes you have to stand up. That's what I would say, but there are a lot of people that also complain a shit ton way too much about the time. You know, you put yourself there. Hug it. You know what I mean? I always hug my time. I never complained about it. I never bitched about it. It just wasn't me. I always tried to make the best of my time, put a smile on my face. Like, I didn't want to be one of those dudes that was just constantly boohooing. And there's a lot of them. Urban Burner, I know about the cigarettes, but I still got to get rid of this. I enjoyed the food in the East and Mimico. For sure, that's a, that's a different time, though. Food ain't like that anymore in the system. Thank you, Phil Walters, man. I appreciate that. Were you ever the cleaner heavy on the range? I was actually a cleaner the last time I was in Lindsay.
It definitely ain't a Russian prison. It ain't Black Dolphin. Where you literally, like, when you move, you're like this. But with a blindfold on. You never, ever, ever get to see the outside of the prison because they don't want you to be able to construct a plan to get out of there. <coughs> you can buy your own food on canteen, but it's not like high quality food. But a lot of people, they live off that, you know, chicken cutlets and burgers and shit that they can get out of there rather than the stuff that they're getting online. Me, not me. I didn't care. I just ate whatever came around. We ate, well, 30 years ago, especially at Christmas. They try to do their best at Christmas. You know what I'm saying? But, like, a lot of the time, it's like a turkey loaf. <laughs> Who the fuck wants to eat a turkey loaf? I'd rather you give me, like, a hamburger or something like that. I don't think I've ever driven by places that I've done time. I don't think I'm a reminiscer like that on negatives in my life, you know? You ever catch a mole on the range? You mean like somebody who wasn't actually doing time, who was just in there to be a snitch? Personally, no. But I know it's happened. Have you ever chatted with Paul from Jumpsuit Pablo? He also has a good con. I know who he is. I've, n I've never chatted to him, no. JD Delay, none of those guys. I was, when I started my channel, it was a different group of prison channels, you know? Those guys are more like polished, actual internet guys, you know? Not just a prison channel. Those guys are like quality content makers. When ISIT got activated in the institution, despite the ISIT officers being masked up, do you know who they are based on the sound of their voice? In some places, like when we rioted in the Ville in 2012, they had masks that masked not only their face, but also their voice. So they all sound the same. So no, you can't tell who they are. And they bring them in from all over the place. You know, they bring them in from other joints. When the ISA team comes in, it's not the regular feds you see every day. It's all the big jacked feds. <clears throat> I've never seen anybody live streaming from jail, but I was in a different time, you know? It's been six years since I've been inside, so the internet and the whole streaming game and and podcasts and stuff has really evolved a lot in the last six years. You know, now you're seeing guys doing prison cooking channels and shit, <laughs> showing their shitty prison meals, prison fights. I still can't get the one video out of my head, man, at some place in New Jersey where this guy gets put on an opposite gang range or opposing gang range. And they fuck him up so bad. They jump him and they're smashing him with the mop buckets. And they're smashing him with the uh, coffee jugs. You know the brown coffee jugs? They're like bringing it up like boom on his head. Man, it's the worst beating I've ever seen in my life on video or in person. Hey, bro, if you're getting sentenced in Toronto, I think the old city hall, where is the most likely bucket you might end up? If you're in Old City Hall, you would have ended up in the Dawn, so you're most likely going to end up in the South. Have fun. Have fun in there, my friend. It's honestly the only super jail I haven't been in. You know, I've been in the East. I've been in the West. Those aren't super jails, but Toronto jails. Penetang, Maplehurst, Lindsay, Mimico. Fuck, I've been everywhere, man. It's crazy. Way too much time.
<clears throat> Go Leafs. Stanley Cup, baby. <laughs> The fans got to believe. They got to believe. Charges are York region, but it's getting sent to Toronto. Hmm. Is it, can I ask why? Is it because you have other charges in Toronto? So you're just like moving everything in? No, no. Go sends. No, no, no. I know, no more vape. I know. The the East in 2010 was insane when I was there. And I was there prior to that, uh, like a lot. When was it? It was like, oh, that was like when I was young, young. Maybe when I was like 20, 21 years old. At some point, I wasn't there long couple weeks. East detention. I think Matthews gets 70 if they keep playing him. Do you want to risk him getting hurt? I say he scores 66. He beats Ovechkin's record. Was there ever a guard I liked? I wouldn't say there's a guard that I liked. But there's definitely guards that I was cordial you know, when you live in somewhere like the Ville, like I lived there for seven years of my life, you know. So you end up seeing these people every day of your life. So you can't just be animus all the time. It would be exhausting, you know. It's just you have to toe the line. There's certain things you can't do, you know. That's all. You just have to know that, this is your line, and you can't cross it. And the reason why I tell new guys to avoid it in general is because they don't know that line. And that you can get yourself hurt, you know. Never trust a guard. That's a fact. They're not your friends. <laughs> I've seen guys believe that guards are their friends. They're not your friends. They're never your friends. Nobody who's paid to keep you locked up is your friend. <laughs> no lawyer is saying because they're jammed with cases. No, no nah, lawyer is saying because they're jammed with cases, they're going to send you to Old City Hall. Crazy. Oh, well, New Market is always jammed. Chasing Florida for home ice events. I don't think it matters that much, you know? I know Scotiabank place is better in the playoffs than it is in the regular season. But I'm, I'm not sure it matters. I think the pressure might be too much. I think it might be better for them to start on the road. Can women go to jail for unpaid child support? I'm sure they can. Do I think they will? Probably not. I've seen guys get arrested right off the street for parking tickets. Like literally just like walking down the street. Boom. They're snatched. They've already been sentenced. They've already been sentenced. They don't even have a, a, a chance to defend it because they've already missed all those chances in court. So many failed to appears and shit, they end up just sentencing you. And I'm sure they can do the same for child support. Driving, Phil. Driving. It's a much more physical job than my last job. You know, my last job was physical, um, but this job is much more physical. Like, it's go, go, go all day. So it's been it's been tested, and I've had to get up at 4.30 in the morning. So, and that's nuts. <laughs> Michael Stotesbury, man, I appreciate that. Thank you very much. My favorite book. I don't know. I like. So I like some Ken Follett books. I can't remember the name of the book that I loved. 
It's a great book. But I also love When the Wind Blows. Um, the Alchemist. Hope it works out, but if not, come to Muskoka. Our construction company is hiring. Damn. I'd love to I'd love to go to Muskoka. I love that uh James Patterson book. It's not a typical Patterson shoot him dead kind of book. You know. Cyborg, what's up, Matt? Welcome back. Been waiting for the next vid. Hope you've been well. I've been good, man. Just busy. Busy as hell. Phil Walters, it's, it's okay, Pay. It'll get better, though. It will get better. But my eyes are always open, if you know what I'm saying. So I'm just waiting for the right opportunity, you know what I mean? For me to show itself, it will happen, it'll happen, you know, it's, it's happened to me at the right time, a couple times in my life, where I feel like things kind of just magically happen, you know, it kind of feels that way, because right when, right when you feel like uh, something, boom, just kind of happens for you, so that's kind of what happened with this job, and I get positive vibes about it i like the people that i work with uh, we'll see you know it hasn't been long it's only been a couple weeks so go leafs two bit matthews man i appreciate that thank you very much gotta smash the devils smash joseph wall's gotta get a win out here man what was it like doing time in gravenhurst it was all right man you cook your own food there so that's good. I'd say the worst thing about it is the bugs. It's the worst. At nighttime, it is the worst. But other than that, it just got pretty boring, you know? It's a pretty boring place, like all prison or jail, you know? Boring. You, you, you do a lot of sitting around. Hey, bro, how do you... How do the parole people at the bucket handle non-volatile drug traffickers? I, I don't know. I'd have no idea about the parole people at a bucket because I've never been oppor like I've never had the opportunity to get provincial parole. It's just never been something that you know even been a possibility for me. My record was too bad when I was like 15 years old. <laughs> I'm sure Ryan Reeves would do fine. <laughs> I'm sure he's tougher than I am, so I'm sure he'd do fine. Prison is not about toughness. It's about this. With the ability to defend yourself if necessary. But the smart person survives, not the, not the crazy tough person who just wants to run around smashing everybody. Because It never works. It never fucking works. I've seen tough, tough guys get run out of joints. <laughs> run right out of them. If you're in the building, go up top. Hit that like button. I appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, subscribe to the channel. We speak on prison, addiction, and life. Uh, and it means the world to me if you do that. So thank you very much. I've seen a lot of torpedoes fall. That's it. Mitch Marner. <clears throat> Might be a little bit of a different circumstance. <laughs> Can the cop watch? What are you saying, Broski? Good to see you on here. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. I think I've seen your channel. Are you the one that like yells at, like goes out and stands out in front of places and then yells at the feds when they come out and try to fuck with your rights? Is that you? Because I can get down with that. Oh, shit. Damn, bro. What's up, my brother? Shout out to Turk, man. I 
I do not have any experience with protective custody. I will be watching UFC 300 this weekend. How are the COs at the East? They come hard for the piff, I'll tell you that. They don't like it when you smoke. What do you mean by high-profile people? Well, stay safe out there, bro. Glad to see that you're doing your thing, man. Focus on the fam. Focus on the positive shit. You know, it's crazy out here. They're trying to take everybody out of their freedom or their life. Especially somebody who thinks on their own. You ever have famous prison people you meet? You know. Celebrities? I'd say not really, no. It is definitely offensive to call someone a PC goof. For sure. I'll check it out, my brother. For sure. Would you say that CO are corrupt or they strict as fuck? It depends. You know, you can get a CO like like Margaret, Margaret from Fembrook or Phyllis from Joyceville that are just by the book, you know. Tear your cell down if they even think anything. And then you have people that don't give a fuck. They'll walk by while you're burning a big head. You know, it just depends. The people you hand to your intake, they don't give a shit what you're in for. Once you're in there... As long as you're not like a diddler or something weird like that, it, it, your charge doesn't really matter. They're, you're not going to be treated differently, you know, unless you have weirdo charges. That's the only way. The only time you're going to be treated differently is if you're new and nobody's ever seen you before. Then, you know, you might be treated a little bit, a little bit not as up to your, your liking, but... You know, once once people see your face a bit and they see that you've been around for a bit. Why are Inuit guys always in on weirdo charges? I'm not sure they're always because I've met some good dudes that were Inuit. But I just think that it's lawless, you know. I think that there's, there's no law up there, you know. And I, I just think it's kind of like a free-for-all. Do you have to start a to start a fight right away when you're new? No. Why you'd rather not start a fight when you're new? Yeah, keep your head up, Turk man. Shout out to you, brother. Toronto OG. True, those remote communities must be crazy to grow up in. Exactly, you know. If you got anybody shady, anything shady in your family or anything like, you know, there's nobody for you to go to, you know? If I bench two plates on the range, would I get respect? I mean, two plates is like, two plates is like average. I haven't been in the gym for like two months now. I could bang two plates. Still, no problem. More than once right now at this point in my life, I'm not sure. <clears throat> I'm a heavy guy, so, you know, like right now I'm 210 right now, almost 215. How hard transferred to minimum? It, not really, you know, if you're on like, if you're on like anything that's not super duper duper violent a year, maybe. And if you have zero violence, you can go right to camp. You don't even have to wait to transfer. Maybe if you have to go from Joyceville, maybe it's like three months, maybe. Maybe. 
<laughs> Mitch, what's up, my brother? <laughs> Fuck. Oh, I'm so sore. I bust my back yesterday, man. I'm just starting this. Oh. I'm just starting this new job, so. Someone told me if you assault CO, they will beat you later. Yes, that's a fact. Hey, love your videos, bro. Keep up the good work. I do recovery videos also, but on TikTok, keep it up. You inspired me from Nova Scotia. Shout out to you. I would check it out, but I don't do TikTok. Sorry, Mitch. It's 10 seconds between comments. I didn't want to do that. It just kind of tricked. It got me there, and then it wouldn't let me back out of it without having to cancel the whole setup, so I just rolled with it. Fuck it. Have you ever met someone that smells so good you called him John Wayne Macy's? <laughs> Get fucking retarded. Uh, Get physio. I need physio. <laughs> I need, actually, I need a chiropractor. <laughs> my body is 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 sore I think I have arthritis I honestly do I think from my lifestyle choices sometimes my knee hurts randomly my knee like seriously pops sometimes if I turn my foot to one direction too quickly it'll go like it's The new job's good, bro. I'm driving again. Same shit. A little more physical, though. It won't let you type at all? So my shoulder, look. If you look there, see that? See the scar there? Yeah. I had a, a, a surgery on that shoulder on my AC joint. Fuck, I hate it when my neck is loose. I hate that shit. On my AC joint, uh, 2013, and now it's fucked up again. So, got to hit the road. Much love, Matt. Big love to the community, too. Look forward to seeing some more interviews, bro. I'll be tuned in. You already know. Shout out to you, my brother. Stay safe out there, bro. I don't really want to have another surgery, though, although I might have to because, man, sometimes, like, if I try to throw, like, like a ball or something, oh, it fucking kills, but whatever. It is what it is. It's pretty easy to get tattoos in jail. It's also pretty easy to get really bad tattoos in jail, so be careful. Yes, I've met serial killers. I've met quite a few serial killers, to be honest. I had one serial killer that I used to give him weed every once in a while, and he'd be so excited. <laughs> I've thought about writing a book about my own life, you know. It's just taking the time. I hear you, Alabama. I hear you. Jesus. What are you trying to do to me, eh? I know. I probably should get another surgery. I know. Because it fucking hurts. Seriously. Sometimes I'll like, even when I was working out, I'd be benching and it would just be fucking killing me. But after a minute, it would numb out. And then I'm good. I'd love to do speaking sessions, Mitch. I'd love to do that. Like, you have no idea. I'd love to do that. Yes, people have told me I have a Canadian accent before, Alabama. Although I don't hear it. It's it's my the way I say of because I kind of say of <laughs> and the repeated word uh, use of the word a I'm Canadian. What can I say, eh? 
I think I definitely should, Andrea. I I th- I don't think I have to be tested for being Canadian. I think it's pretty obvious. <laughs> I didn't gamble, but there's definitely a lot of gambling on the inside. How difficult is it to get a conditional sentence first time around, but hit with a few charges? It depends on the charges. You know, it really does. If you're out stabbing people in the jugular, then eh, it's probably not super duper likely, but you never know. (laughs) We are in a different time. This is a fact. I took tests and man, that shit messed my head up coming off. Yeah, for sure. I would assume, but I want to take tests. I can't even lie. I love to take tests. I'm just not sure I would. Because I think it would make me crazy. When I took Champix, I went crazy. It made me crazy. Like physically violent, you know. What's the language you talk? Sometimes it sounds Jamaican or something. It's just a mix of patois that I've thrown in there over the years of being around, you know? Toronto slang. That's just Toronto lingo is really all it is. You can get access to musical instruments in the federal system. I know that. I'm feeling good about Matthews. I'm actually feeling pretty good about the whole team, man. I'm feeling good about Samsonov. I'm feeling good about the toughness. I'm feeling good about Marner coming back, even though they've been winning. I'm feeling good about, like, Samsonov is 17-2-1 in this last 20 games. Who's Who the fuck saw that coming? Like, this guy was ready to be shipped out of town. So, I'm on here for, like, two more minutes, guys. I'm a Pens fan, but I thought last night was a good game on both ends. So did I. The food in jail, it's jail food, you know. You'll eat it when you're hungry. But aside from that, probably not. I li- Like, I listen to rap. That's what I listen to. I listen to Toronto rap. I listen to pretty much new shit, you know. I like that hardcore shit, man. I love that shit. <laughs> I can't fake it. I love it. It makes my, it just, I just love it. So who do I listen to? Like lately I've been listening to some hot headed youngin. I've been listening to some big walk dog. I've been listening to sleazy world go. Uh, who else? Uh, man, I love honeycomb. Plus I love Toronto rap, man. I love a lot of Toronto rap. You won't catch me listening in the country. No, you won't. You know, my boy, Jay, he became a serial killer by accident. Been locked up since 02, I think. Damn. Serial killer by accident. That's a pretty fucked up accident. i like to know how that works. What do I think about diversion programs? I don't hate them. You know, I don't think the answer is always to just throw everybody in jail. You know, especially considering once you put them in there, the system changes you, man. It does. And the more time you do, the more fucked up you get. And that ain't, that's like a fact. It's just a fact. Do you know if I'll be eligible for parole at one third if I end up having to hug the the years? The charges aggravated assault, so I don't know if that being a it kind of changes things. It really does. Like it's gonna make it more much, much more difficult for you to get parole. I'm just being honest with you. What is your opinion on Katie and morphine for recovering addicts? I was doing Ten eights a day, and now I'm on 500 milligrams of Cadian by my doctor. I got no problem with harm reduction at all. You know, I'm on Suboxone. I smoke weed. I drink some beer. I feel no way about it. 
I feel good about my life. You know, I'm out of jail. I don't have probation or parole. I have a job. I get up every day. I'm not throwing my shit away. So I'm good. Leave me the fuck alone. I grinning my teeth and trying to bear it like 100% sober. Fuck all that. Do you see what's going on in this world right now? I'm trying to enjoy it while it's still here. No, I don't think the world would be a better place without prisons or jails. No, I don't. Matt, bro, start posting more when you get a chance. I know you're busy and all, but the interviews would be dope. I know. I'll be back, bro. I'm not gone. I'm just on hiatus. I used to live in Moss Park. I lived at Shooter and Mutual. Not for very long, but I did live there. Which type of pen would someone go gets convicted for armed robbery, attempt, aggravated, minimum, medium? Now, that can change with institutional behavior, but it would have to be really bad. I'd say media. You're either going to go to Workworth or the Bay, one of those two, or Fembrook, one of those three places. <clears throat> I don't know if you have to take the backs in there. I had no idea I wasn't in for COVID. Yes, I did see the eclipse, and I looked right at it, stared right the fuck at it like a bod boy. No glasses. Rude boy thing. Eh? Vancouver right now is wild. I get it. Legalized dope. But I don't think it's, I still don't think it's bad. You know, sadly enough. I think if it's saving people from overdosing and dying, hey, I'm down. It's going to take a while for that to trend to change though, you know. Guys definitely smoked the, nic the nicoderm patch. No problem there, Alabama. I like sharing the pics, eh? Did you ever meet extremely rich people in jail for white-collar crimes? Yes. You meet everybody, you know? You think you'd go nuts without nicotine, but... You honestly don't. And I was a hardcore smoker, the hardest smoker, pack and a half a day. And honestly, bro, it didn't matter one fucking bit. If the minute you're arrested, if you're not smelling it, you don't, it doesn't even matter. It doesn't. Okay, okay, respect someone. How's you right now? You're going to have to do a bit for that for show. But. You might not have to go pen, maybe not. You might get lucky. Maybe do like a 16 months or 18 months. I remember kids in middle school smoking coffee. I witnessed a guy smoke a hot dog. How does that even work? Hey, bro, if you catch five years, what's the best case scenario is always one third now. There used to be one sixth. When they had accelerated parole, that is now gone. So now it's one third. Cleasy, my friend, what up? Yeah, but once you're inside, you're not really like, okay, if you're in provincial, you're bored. But you're not bored because you're constantly hustling all day to try and get something to smoke or something. So you'd be surprised. The Nicorette in MAU. I always had smoke too, especially last time I was at MAU. Last time I was in MAU, I had piff every single day I was there. I just didn't share it. I was not very nice about that. I don't know what to say about that case there, Mitch. I don't love to talk about guys individually that are in the city that I live in and I could bump into anytime. I don't know. I I don't know. I don't think he did it personally. I don't think he shot anybody. So <laughs> I personally gave you Nicorette, eh? That's hilarious. I don't know. They could try to make an example of him and try and give him life. 
I don't know. But I think I don't think he did it. Seriously. I think they're framing his ass because he's so loud. And they just want him out of there. Free everybody, man. You know, if you get caught, you end up in jail for show. But I'm not going to wish that on anybody except child molesters. I don't give a fuck if they die or go to jail. Both. I hope they go to jail for 40 years and then die painfully after that. I'll check it out, Jeremy Smith. That's what I'm saying, not important. I don't really speak on on stuff like that on my channel. And uh, I never wish prison on anybody. And that's what I can say, you know. Yeah, people always escape from Beaver Creek. Why wouldn't you? There's no fence. That's why they never put me in those places because they figured I'd just cut because that's what I used to do. But I probably wouldn't have. Not not the last couple times. I probably would have just chilled. No, Mark Foster. I wouldn't. I don't give a fuck if somebody hits a CO. Shit. I'm not that guy. I don't give a shit. People, like, you can't impress me with anything, really. I don't give a fuck. Unless you're going to do, like, some crazy magic or something. I don't care. I pretty much roll dolo. I, I'm pretty much on my own kind of tip, you know? Which is exactly why I survived the whole time I did. Without really any major issues at all. Thanks, bro. That link is the article, but uh, what link? Oh, one of the L-Town, London. Okay. I can't see your name because it's a YouTube name, obviously, or a, 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 a handle. If you hit a CO, your life in that jail would be health for at least initially for a little bit but it wouldn't be the inmates that'd be mad at you or pissed at you you'd be chill with them <clears throat> you'd be all right with them for show do magicians get on easy on range i have no idea but i, I would assume so if you can in if you can entertain people Seriously, you'd be surprised at how chill people will be. I haven't heard from Thro specifically, but I've heard from Thro's friends. Thro's inside, though. He's not on the road. Shout out to Thro. Uh, free up Thro. Are there ever female COs in male jails? If yes, would you smash? If the opportunity presented itself and I was doing time... Fucking right, I'd smash. Because they're also going to look at it like you're the victim. That CO was the person that should have known better. So smash away, dog. They ain't even going to say shit to you. I'm telling you, I've seen it happen a hundred times. The CO gets fired and the dude goes back to his block. My bro-in-law is now a CO. He's a retired MMA fire, fighter. If he was seen without the uniform, he looks harder than the prisoners. Real nice guy, so I assume he has no conflicts. Maybe not, but maybe he was a total asshole. You never know. You just never know, you know? <laughs> a motherfucker just learning magic just so he can go and do some good time. Yeah, yeah, no, just holler at me, bro. IG up, man. I'm on IG. I, I'm out of here, man. 30 seconds. You guys already know. <laughs> I got to go eat some food, man. What are you doing? That's him. That's Tonky. 
Tonka, he's a good boy. He's annoying, but he's a good boy. But I love y'all. You guys already know, man. I'll be back soon. New video soon. I love y'all, man. Mitch, Alabama. Bye, Alabama. Bye, Mitch. Phil Walters, Urban Burner, Banjo, Mark Foster, Gypsy, Andrea, Kate Breton, Drone Pilot, Mark Foster, Cyborg, John claude all of you, you guys already know, hit that like button before you get out of here and that subscribe button before you get out of here. See you on the next episode. I love y'all. You guys already know.